Hello, everybody. So today I want to go through Genesis chapter one. Um, and um, this is the first of many, hope, hopefully. And um, this is where I read the Bible verses and I give pair it with either dreams that have God has given me, um, prophetic wisdom and insight that God has given me. Um, and we're just going to have a Bible study and we're going to see how we can apply the word of God to our life. Cause a lot of us is just reading it and just reading it on a surface level. And, um, I feel like God has given me a lot of knowledge and wisdom. And I just want to share that with, with you all. I want to share that. I want to share it with everybody to just get it out. I don't feel as though I don't want to take the knowledge and the wisdom that God has given me to my grave. And like the great, uh, late great, um, Miles Monroe said, he wants to, he wanted to die empty. And, um, not that I foresee my death coming up shortly. I'm believing that I'm gonna live to a hundred and, uh, a hundred plus years. Um, but I, I just, time is short. Life is short, period. Even if, you know, I do make it to 120, life is short. And so I want to make sure that I get everything out that I need to get out. Um, and um, and I am not glorifying myself saying I know, like I know a lot of stuff. It's I'm not. It's by, you know, the grace of God. And I still got a lot more that I do, I, I need to know. But what I do know, I want to share with you guys. So, <clears throat> excuse me, you got to excuse me. I'm just coming off of a cold. So this hopefully is the first of many Bible studies and I'm going to have them once. I'm trying to have them once a week. Lord willing. So Genesis, let's go from Genesis. We're going to start in Genesis, and hopefully end up in Revelation and then start all over again. <laughs> so that's how it needs to be, because we need to read the Bible Um you know, you get you read the Bible and you read it, you read it to the from the cover to cover. Then when you get done, you start all over again and read it again because every time you read it, you'll find out something new. You'll find out something fresh. So let's get started. In Genesis chapter one, verse one. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, and it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the, the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. So let's stop right there. Now, I know that we have read this when we was like in Bible, like... Uh, Sunday school and we just took it from the surface level and that's fine we need to know the basics but I, I'm, I'm here to tell you that there is a deeper deeper prophetic uh, meaning here and and this is a deeper prophetic meaning that we can apply to our lives and um, what God is wanting to say to some of you listening right now that you have been through a, a tremendous, um, just emotional, just um, uh, just a, a gut wrenching, heart uh, just heart just broken. You have been through some things. You've been through some trials. You've been through uh, just hell. And it seemed like your life was null and void. It seemed like what you, what you, um, everything that you may have accomplished over the years, um, with your career, with your family life, it just seemed like it's just null and it's void and your life is dark, and it feels like you just did things in vain because everything is upside down. But God is saying that he is moving over the face of the earth. He's moving over the face of your world. He's moving over you, and he's going to call forth light. 
he's going to call forth light and he's going to separate. He's going to divide the light from the darkness and you're going to be able to see again. Just like that song, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see clearly now the, I can see all the obstacles in my way. I don't know if that man that that's made that song was a man of God, or if he made it for God or whatever, but I'm I'm still in it for my purposes because I feel as though that song is what God is singing over some of y'all right now. He's saying that darkness may have been upon your face, but God is going to set everything in order. He's going to set it all in order. You're going to see. You're going to see. The light is going to be separated from the dark. And in fact, some of y'all have been going through because he's been separating light from darkness in your life. And that separation has caused you turmoil. But once once he does it, once he does, once he does it, it's going to be beautiful. He's going to create something beautiful in your life. Now, I know you probably read this before and and that was nowhere in your mind like that God was talking about how he's going to bring light into your life but I'm here to tell you that God has used that verse this very same verse verses to illustrate what he's going to do in our lives so it also it, it says that in verse 2, the earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. So what God is saying, what what God is saying is that when and when these scriptures are written, it's saying it was without form. It was in chaos. It was like it was just floating in the atmosphere. It was just floating in space. And some of y'all just feel like, God, catch me. I'm just out here, spiraling out of control. I'm just in the atmosphere. I'm just blowing in the wind, God. Why am I out here like this? I seem like my life is out of control. And God is saying that he's going to put everything in order as we read on. It's going to, it's going to say on the, then on the second day, he did this and he separated this and he, and he created stuff and he, whatever. So I'm just here to tell you that God is going to put everything. God is a God of order. First, he had to put the light. He had to make the light come. That was day number one. And as you read, it doesn't say <coughs> that he created the sun to make this light. He said, let there be light. And there was light. So where did light come from? It came from God. So I'm here to tell you that God... If you read further on, then he starts talking about the sun. So God is talking about his light is going to illuminate things in your life. And you could also, when you see light in some circumstances, you can insert knowledge and wisdom. He's going to shed light on your situation. So some of y'all feel like y'all been in chaos. Y'all been just you know, floating in the out of out of space somewhere and out of control. But God is saying that He's gonna give you the knowledge and the wisdom so that you can see. <clears throat> so you can know what path to take. So I hope this this hope uh helps somebody. We're gonna read on further, but I think that this is enough to to start and um Tomorrow we'll read on further. And um, that's what it's about when you read the Bible. You don't have to read, oh, I'm going to read five chapters a day. Maybe you do. Nothing wrong with it. But you have to read it and let it soak into your soul. Let it soak into your mind. Let it soak into your spirit. And so it's not about the quantity. It's about the quality. You got to, this, the word is quality through and through. But if you just go and like bulldoze through it and it's going in one ear and out the other, then what good is it doing for you? 
So um, God bless you. And I know it is a short Bible study, but sometimes I feel like it's so much packed into the word of God that I just, this need to be one, <laughs> Genesis one through, well, I guess four we read to just needs to be one Bible study. And then tomorrow we'll, we'll, if I get to it tomorrow, what I said once a week, then we'll get to uh, Genesis 1, 5. But this is for, you know, this is going to be on, I'll keep this on YouTube for, for forever, for as long as there is a YouTube. And so this is for people who want to... Um, who who want to study a Bible study so they could come back years from now and this will be on there. And um, hopefully by that time, years from now, I'll have a, a whole catalog of Bible studies where you could just type in Genesis chapter one and um, my name and be able to have a, a Bible study. And um, like I said, I don't know if I said it or not. You know, I've been accused of over spiritualizing things, but then you know what? Y'all can accuse me if you want to, but really you're going to be accusing God because he's the one that gave me the, gave me the scriptures and told me to <laughs> so-called spiritualize them, quote unquote. So y'all can get mad at him. Um, so God bless you. And I hope this just blessed, blessed y'all and um, share if you feel as though this could help somebody and um, like and what do they say? Subscribe and put the bell so that when the next Bible study come out or if God give me a prophetic word that you could be notified. All right. Well, God bless you all. I love you.